Hello, and welcome to Tools to Create a Better Life with myself, Glenice Hughes. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you. So this week, we are going to talk about money once again. Yes, what it actually takes to receive money. Now, why the heck do I talk about money so much? And it's not just in radio shows. No, many of the programs and the offerings and the everything that I have is about money. It's because it's actually a sneaky way to get us to receive without really realizing that's what we're doing. So money really is all about receiving. And the more money we are willing to receive, the more that we will actually receive. <laughs> You see, we're infinite beings with infinite perceiving, infinite knowing, and infinite receiving. So really talking about money and and looking at it in all different ways is inviting us all to receive even more and even more and even more. (sighs) Yes. So what does it actually take? to receive money. Yeah. So many of you know, if you've been around here for a while, you know that money wasn't something that I had really much of. And if I did have it, it came in and it went away really, really quickly uh, because I wasn't willing to have it. So what I was doing was trying everything, everything to have money, to receive money. I was doing all the things, all the things. I probably even would have danced naked around a fire four times if somebody told me that that would give me money. Although I'm sure I could have found somebody to pay me to do that, but that's a story for a different day. So what did I find out though that it actually takes to receive money? (sighs) Choice. I know we don't like the C word, my friends. I know, I know, I know. In fact, I used to get so annoyed when I would hear people talk about it. You've just got to choose it. You've just got to choose it. And I'd be like, go away. Stop talking to me. I want to throat punch you. Um, And here I am telling you the same thing. It really is actually about choosing it. Now, the different part with this that I suggest, though, is to recognize that choice is a verb. So choice is something that you're choosing, you're doing something, it's, it's an action every 10 seconds. So when I say it takes choosing it, if you would like to have money, um, you want to be choosing it. It's looking at that then. So what can you choose today that would actualize the money you like right away? You know, a a little question like that. You might want to ask that often. You might want to also really, not you might actually. (laughs) Here's the thing. Be really, really firm with this. It's not just a you might want to. This is a, this is the one area that you really want to be looking at because what you're asking for is what's showing up in your life. So when I talk about asking, that is every thought you think, every word you speak, and every energy you be. That is how we ask. So yes, you might take five minutes every morning and have a list of things you're asking for, but you might spend the rest of your day talking about how tough money is and how how hard it is and how you never have enough. And those are asks too. So when I talk about choosing money, you've got to be willing to at least be present and aware 50% of the time to where your energy is going. What are you actually asking for? When you talk with a friend about how difficult money is, you're asking for that. So that's going to be what's showing up in your life. If you don't like what's showing up, if you don't have the money you would like, There requires then for you to be asking in a different way. You want to look at, okay, well, where am I asking for there not not to be enough? Possibly with friends and family when you're talking about it. Possibly just in your own head when you're thinking about it. You want to start turning those 
times into what, like putting your energy into what you would like. So asking for what you would like asking. Some of you are part of it already. Some of you maybe haven't heard of it yet, uh, but I have this, it's called the ultimate toolkit to manifesting your money goal. And this is really all about this, where we're, we're taking all the pieces, all the, from setting the goal, all the way to actually manifesting it, to actualizing it, all the pieces, choosing it every step of the way, with all of these different ways. So there'll be a link somewhere. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll get it to you. It really is the magical toolkit required to get you from your ask to the receiving of it. And along with that toolkit, oh my gosh, I've got so much stuff coming up about money. I have uh, starting January 1st, 2022, depending when you're listening to this, uh, we've got the how to become money workbook, but from access consciousness. So we're going to do a chapter a day. So the first 13 days is the how to become money workbook. The nine days after that is the advanced how to become money workbook. I also have the uh, two part class coming up called creating 2022 to be your richest year so far. So yes, 2022 is all about receiving more money and wealth and cash than you've never imagined possible. So I invite you to any of those things, guys. I'm so, so excited for what we're creating already. Uh, Yes. So back to asking. You really, it's... (sighs) A lot of times when people hear about this, they go into the wrongness of them or how, you know, okay, well, if, if, if what I'm asking for is what's showing up, then I'm obviously asking wrong or I'm bad, or I don't know how to do this. That's where you want to just, again, stop, stop, make a different choice. Instead of going into the judgment of you, you can turn that into, okay, what can I be and do different today to actualize what I'm asking for right away? How could I ask for what I would like more often than ask for what isn't working? And I said earlier, like 50% of the time, this isn't where you have to be asking perfectly 100% of the time. In fact, you don't ever have to ask perfectly. You just want to make sure that you're aware of what you're asking for and that you're asking for what you would like 50% more than you're asking for what you don't like. And I'm just using the the percentage of 50%. uh, Because in my own experience, I do not do it 100% of the time. And yet what I'm asking for shows up probably 90% of the time. So I know for sure it doesn't have to be 100% of the time, but you do want to be taking action and stopping yourself when you know that you're in that limitation when you're when you're asking for what you don't really desire you want to stop and then you want to turn it into what you are asking for so this is where i use the i wonder energy um and i just wonder like when i catch myself going oh this is too hard and it won't happen and it can't happen for me or whatever insanity limitations i'm using i stop <sighs> okay I wonder what it would be like to have this show up with ease. I wonder how magical I could be for this to show up. I wonder how many ways the universe can surprise and delight me with this showing up today. Like just change it into that because do you notice the difference of like that gets really exciting and yummy and expansive and like, oh, you just want to be in that energy more than it's so hard and I can't do it and it never happened. Like that's not, that's not fun. So really that yumminess, that expansiveness. And I, I that's what I use I wonder for. I love to I wonder all the time because uh, it gets me out of the energy of not what I'd like into the energy of more of what I'd like without any conclusion. So for, for some, if you're kind of like, okay, so this is what it would be like, and this is what that would be like. And that often has a kind of a crunchy energy to it because those are conclusions. So I wonder, like, I wonder what it would be like. I wonder. And that all comes back to us actually receiving. 
I know that receiving isn't something that we talk about here very often. I mean, I talk about it all the time, but on the planet, probably in your family and your friends, receiving isn't the word that we use. And yet when we're talking about money, and especially when I'm talking about money and wealth and cash, it really is to invite each one of us to receive even more and to receive even more and to receive even more. So, uh, a question from Access Consciousness. What energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, and possibilities can us and our bodies be to be the infinite receiving that we truly be? Anything that doesn't allow that to show up as if by magic we destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pock, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Yes, have a fabulous week, sweet friends, and I look forward to chatting again next week.